Hey there, movie buffs. Today, we're diving into the 1957 classic, Witness for the Prosecution. No need for fancy words, just pure movie talk. Ever wondered which character stole the show for you? With a lineup of memorable roles, there's something for everyone. Drop your favorite in the comments. But here's the kicker, did you know this film is loaded with funny, shocking, and downright sad moments? Stick around, we've got the scoop. Now, how about those lesser known facts? Any trivia that's got you hooked? Share your thoughts. And hey, we're not just talking at you. We want to hear your stories. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this cinematic gem? Spill the beans in the comments below. We're all ears. So, grab your popcorn, hit play, and let the movie unravel its twists. There's more to witness for the prosecution than meets the eye. Stay tuned for the facts and share your tales with us. It's all about the love for classic cinema. Your stories matter, so spill the beans in the comments. Can't wait to hear them all. Keep those reels rolling, and remember, it's all about witness for the prosecution. I recently watched a captivating courtroom movie that kept me glued to the screen. Directed by Billy Wilder, it had a gripping plot and great performances. The character of Sir Wilfred, played by Charles Lawton, was especially memorable with his clever lines. The story had unexpected twists that kept me guessing until the end. The actors did an excellent job, particularly Tyrone Power and Marlene Dietrich. Overall, it's a fantastic film for anyone who enjoys mysteries or courtroom dramas. In casting, Marlene Dietrich aimed to revive John Gilbert's career, though unsuccessful. Nevertheless, she remained a guardian to Gilbert's daughter until her passing decades later. John Williams, who attended Lansing College, coincided with Evelyn Waugh. Tyrone Power, an alumnus of Purcell High School, graduated alongside Roger Staubach. These diverse backgrounds enriched the production of Witness for the Prosecution, bringing unique perspectives to the film's creation. Tyrone Power, a big name in the movie, is among the top 100 highest earning stars in history, even though he only worked for 19 years, taking a break from military service. Playing Senator Dean Edwards on the radio show Freedom USA showed he could do more than just act in movies. Marlene Dietrich, another important person in the film, loved quotes, and two of her own ended up in Hollywood Mount 3. Her unique view and talent made the movie richer. These things from Power and Dietrich, along with what the rest of the cast did, helped make the movie really memorable. In casting Leonard Vole for the film, there was a prevailing sentiment that a younger actor with a British accent, such as Dirk Bogart or Lawrence Harvey, would have been a more suitable choice. Charles Lawton, the actor who portrayed Sir Wilfred Robarts, had a connection with Reverend Felton H. Griffin, a pioneering Alaskan minister. Griffin, known for founding the Alaska Baptist Convention in the 1940s, shared a camaraderie with Lawton. Griffin, an enthusiastic hunter and fisherman, occasionally flew Lawton to his cabin at Coal Lake, Alaska for weekend retreats. Lawton's portrayal of Sir Wilfred Robarts, complete with the use of a monocle to intimidate Leonard Vole, drew inspiration from Florence Gadella. Gadella, an Englishman and a lawyer for both Lawton and Marlene Dietrich, was famous for twirling his monocle while cross-examining witnesses. This influence shaped Lawton's characterization in the film, adding a unique dimension to the courtroom dynamics. The nuances of casting choices and personal connections behind the scenes provide a fascinating backdrop to the development of witness for the prosecution, enriching the portrayal of characters and their interactions on screen. In Charlton Heston's autobiography, he recounted his shock upon learning of Tyrone Power's sudden death during the filming of Ben-Hur. Power, only a decade older than Heston, made him confront his mortality for the first time. Power, son of Tyrone Power Sr. and Patia Ryum, was also known for his roles in witness for the prosecution. Additionally, he was an adoptive father and a biological father to several children. On the other hand, Norma Varden, who appeared in Witness for the Prosecution, initially pursued a career in music before transitioning to acting. Trained as a concert pianist in Paris, she later performed in England. Considered for the role of Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, he, Tyrone Power, hailed from a mixed heritage with Irish, English, French Huguenot, French Canadian, German, and English roots. Meanwhile, Charles Lawton, who portrays Sir Wilfred Robarts, was the first to bring Agatha Christie's detective Hercule Poirot to life on stage. Lawton's portrayal in Alibi, later titled The Fatal Alibi in America, marked the inception of Christie's iconic character on the West End stage, adapted from her novel, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. 
Henry Daniel, known for his strong work ethic, impressed director Robert Wise with his dedication on set. Daniel earned praise for consistently delivering great performances without causing any issues, gaining respect for his professionalism. Charles Lawton faced health problems in his later years, dealing with gallbladder cancer from January 1962 until his passing. Despite his illness, Lawton kept working, leaving behind a memorable mark in the film industry. He was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. Marlene Dietrich, one of the greatest movie stars ever, received recognition for her work in cinema. She was voted the 43rd greatest movie star by Entertainment Weekly, highlighting her significant influence on the film world. In a classic film adaptation, the screenwriters cleverly infused humor into the storyline, bringing in delightful moments absent in the original play. A distinguished actor who won an Oscar for a previous role witnessed another formidable performance, marking a significant achievement in cinema history. Interestingly, the collaboration between a writer and a director proved to be a unique episode in their careers. Despite the success of their project, the writer chose not to work with the director again, citing the director's demanding work habits. As the credits rolled, the dynamics between the cast and crew became evident, contributing to the film's lasting appeal. The on-screen chemistry, notable achievements of actors, and behind-the-scenes tensions all played a role in shaping the final product. In the world of filmmaking, where creativity and collaboration intertwine, this cinematic masterpiece stands as a testament to the complexities of the process. In the movie, she, Marlene Dietrich, had a dislike for feet, considering them the ugliest part of the human body. Hence, she always sought ways to conceal them. Norma Varden, on the other hand, missed out on a major role in another film, but managed a minor one. Initially, she was in contention for the role of Mother Superior in another movie, but ended up with a smaller role as Frau Schmidt. As for him, Tyrone Power, his contributions extended beyond acting. During World War II, he served as a pilot involved in transporting supplies and evacuating the wounded from war zones. His experiences were varied, reflecting a life beyond the silver screen. It's fascinating how the lives of the actors from that movie intersected both on and off the screen, weaving a web of interesting stories and connections. After the movie, one of them served in World War II and remained in the United States Marine Corps Reserve afterward. Another actor, the one who played the lead, had two younger brothers. A famous actress from the same era had a noteworthy encounter with a well-known actor during filming in 1938. Despite its twists and turns, the movie offers a glimpse into a world filled with passion, intrigue, and unexpected revelations. Through the lens of history, we uncover hidden gems and untold tales, shaping our understanding of the past. The lives of those involved in the movie are a rich tapestry of humanity, shaped by fate and circumstance. It continues to captivate audiences, leaving a lasting impression.